Hey guys, so if you want to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And if you want to uh, follow me on Instagram, look at my Amazon storefront and follow my podcast called I Talk Lot and rate five stars, even though I've not posted any episode in a very, very long time. I'll be talking about OCD, and if you have OCD and something kind of triggers you, you can not watch this video so first one is stress i'm sure everyone experiences stress um and obviously anyone who may have like ocd obviously stress um i'm assuming that's what it does for me um any type of stress always brings out my ocd and what that means is so like for example like uh when i was in school and like the terrible math class that I hated so much. I had so much anxiety. I was um, picking my hair a little bit, um, picking my hand a lot. Like I was a lot, a lot of the times I was like picking my like fingers and like sometimes my hand and like my feet, like my feet were like starting to get like getting picked at. Next thing is that for me, this isn't like really a tr well actually it is a trigger it's, it's like a thing that i do because it's it's on me so the thing is i've been picking out my hair and not like literally pick out of my hair i mean like split ends i just suddenly started hating getting split ends and now it, it's like it's impossible to get rid of i get it everyone has it yeah i get it okay that let me live in my delulu brain thinking that if i break a piece of hair it gets rid of the split ends uh so yeah what i would do is sometimes especially when i'm in the car um as a passenger my mom's driving it like the sunlight hits part of my hair and it's like i see that splitting and i have to like go grab it and if i lose it so right now so this isn't a splitting but it could be um, obviously you can't see this because I have brown hair, so what I would do is just take this. And then if it looks good, I let it go, and this is literally a piece of, I broke off my hair. And that's what I do with my OCD. It's like, I could spend, let me tell you, I have, I have spent probably like an hour or two. I could spend hours just like going through my hair and doing this and just like making sure to hit it like in every angle you know and just like this i literally could do this forever and i want to do this like this isn't like a split end but part of it like the hair is like bent and when i feel it it um it feels like hard because there's like a bent in it there is no way to get rid of split ends but i really wish there could be i mean there is a device on amazon and i plan on getting it and i know like it's kind of stupid and all but again i'm gonna live in my delulu brain next one is that i have a screen recording for you guys to show you guys what i'm talking about because it's really hard for me to explain so i have audible and so when i go inside audible i just go for example I'm using the genre for fantasy and so I click fantasy excuse me sorry I search up fantasy click audiobooks and click including with your membership and then I go like find a book that's like for free and so I click on it and then I go um, look at the authors and I click on the authors and I go to each of the authors if it's like multiple authors one author or not like I do it all the time and so I go to the authors and I just like click and see their audiobooks and see if they have any included with my memberships. And I just have to download all those books underneath that author. And it is annoying. Like literally when I tell you logging in, not logging in, going into the Audible app is kind of really hard because it's so glitchy and like when i'm listening to a book i have to like have it open on the app for like quite a while so that i could go out of the app and play like my games or something because if i don't and i go out of the app it just like stops and, you have to and so it's just because i have like i think of like twenty two thousand books in total now i haven't read 22,000 books. Next thing is, again, I've talked about this before, it's TVs and movies and YouTube creators. 
I prefer captions. I love captions. I just love it. It's so much nicer because I always look at their mouth sometimes. Like a lot of the times I look at their mouth like you're talking. And so I like having to read the captions. I know it makes no sense. Like why won't that just like mess up your brain and you're not focusing on the video. But preferably I like having captions. It's just thing. It's a thing that I like to have. I hate it, especially when, like, YouTube doesn't allow it anymore. And I don't like that you physically have to do it yourself. It's kind of really hard and annoying. And I don't like that. And I did that for one YouTube video. And I'm like, dang, that is so freaking hard. And I'm like, no, I thought I was going to be able to do it for all my YouTube videos. But for me, if I were to do that, my OCD would have killed me. It would have taken forever to get a whole video captioned. It would be like, oh, I would be literally dying. But yeah, that's why I don't have captions on my videos is because I don't have anyone to do that. And I don't feel like doing it myself because I tried that one thing. It was hard to do. So, next thing I have is when um, my dogs pee or poop on the floor, just because ever since the pandemic, they just reverted back to, like, puppy stage, and they've just been like that, and I heard it was because, like, ever since the pandemic, like, they're out of, like, um, a routine, but I don't know if those um, people have their animals back to normal where like they go pee outside but our dogs don't do that so we have pee pee pads around the house not all around it but like two areas and sometimes well not sometimes majority of the times they don't like to pee on them so when my mom or me <laughs> have to go pick up the pee, I, my OC kills me every time because when I go pick up and I put a lot of paper towels and stuff, I still have to wa wash my hands with 24 pots of soap. Like, it's just thing if I step and pee or poop, I have to do that on my foot. I have to do 24 pumps in total. Like, like I can't just do 12. I have to do 24 or else my OCD. I don't get anxiety over it. It's just, like, I like to have that because, to me, it signifies it's clean now. Like, it makes no sense. But, like, that's just what the brain is. Next uh, one is, second to last one, is... Cleaning my hairbrush. This wasn't like an OC, but it eventually became one where like I just started cleaning my hairbrush. So whenever I brush, whenever I brush my hair, I always have to clean it out and get all the hairs away from it. So it's like clean and pretty. Um, I can't just like leave it with all my hair inside of it. Like I don't know how people do it, but I just don't do it. And I know it makes zero sense, you know. Um. I have like a tool, like a, it looks like a tooth, uh, tooth comb. Um, yeah, I believe that's a comb brush, but it's not, um, I don't know. I think I'm saying it wrong. I'm sorry, guys. But I have those things where you can take that and run it through your hairbrush. Um, or if you have two hairbrushes, just do that together, rub them. And, but I don't do that. I just do it by hand because like it's easier. Like I don't have a bunch of hair pop hair piled up on one single brush i mean I only have like one brush but like i just i can't leave it like that because it bothers me i just don't think it's clean i don't think it's necessary and it just it doesn't look pretty to me last one is where it's not just specifically with my perfume it's like organizing stuff too or how i have things like decorated i'd like it to be in a certain way meaning like for my perfume collection i have it all set out and if i ever like have to use it or clean it out whatever i just have to put it back inside and put it where it was before i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys next week bye guys